When I was there, I, uh, yeah, I was uh, told to die, and you just hold your breath, and when I first passed out in the cafeteria, I had one of the extras shaking me, and so they had to take away the sound of my head hitting the table. So it wasn't so much me stopping myself from breathing as me reacting to my head hitting the table over and over again. So, yeah, breathing was um, But also, um, when I was lying in the hospital after I died, they had to do the shock again because while I was holding my breath, I had a little vein in my neck going. And, I, and you can't stop the blood from pumping, so they had to reframe the shot, and so they had to do it again. It's very difficult. Yep. Uh, everything on TV, on the TV, on our show, that was all fake. You don't have his legs squashed at all. What they do is they've got a special um, cast. He actually used the same cast as being my character had his um, foot broken. And it was the exact same cast, and they just wrap it up with um, bandage. It's just trickery, just the same as I'm not a real doctor, he can really get his leg broken. When did you start? Was it today that you started? Yeah, today yeah. is the first day. The first day. And then how'd you, how'd you get roped into this? Uh, oh, just, um, they approached me because they'd heard that I'd left the show and um, uh, asked if I was keen to do it. And I said, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And what are you doing at the moment? Uh, oh, bits and pieces. I work as a um, substitute teacher as well. Uh, at a secondary school up in Auckland, and um, I um, work as a DJ sometimes, and uh, yeah, and just you know, just general um, theatre stuff as well, writing proposals and uh, helping out people, working as a consultant, and uh, help people with documentary making. You sort of just uh, do whatever you can do, really. Yeah, yeah. You just sort of find work where it. Yeah, find work for because uh, it won't find you. And um, you obviously got you quite um, you really into reading us to promote it to some of the children around, around the South Island. Is that, is that part of the reason you got on board as well? Or? Yeah, well, I, I think um, well, I, I just do it every every moment that I can really um, with internet, um, science magazines, um, reading for my own personal enjoyment, novels and non-fiction. Um, it's a huge part of who I am and what entertains me and so yeah uh, as a um, as a secondary school teacher you just see those those kids who have grown up reading at a, at a primary level and at an intermediate level just really are at that position to make the most of their time at secondary school and so I think it's so important to for them as uh, far as getting educated but also just important for them as far as good habits and um, and uh, important for them uh, just for their own day-to-day -day lives to have good reading skills and so a project like this i um, more than happy to be associated with it and help them out by giving my time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.